Welcome to Apply Online Training. In this video, we will look at how to upload your supporting documents. The first thing you need to know is that not all lenders offer the supporting docs functionality in Apply Online. There are some lenders that require the documents to be sent to them manually rather than uploaded. The quickest way to identify if a lender provides the functionality through Apply Online is to look for the Supporting Docs tab. If the tab is not available, you will need to send the documents manually. Please speak to your Lend BDM for the correct address or consult the Lender Contacts tab within Podium. If you do have the Supporting Docs tab, you will be presented with one of two variations. The first variation we will look at is the most commonly used amongst lenders. Now there are three ways you can upload using this slip variant of supporting documents. You can drag and drop files from your computer into the grey box on the left. This will store all the documents below, which then allows you to drag and drop them onto their relevant conditions on the right. You will then be prompted to file the document against that condition. Ensure you select the correct fields on the left. and add any additional notes to support the document if need be. Once you've confirmed all the details, click Save Changes. Once you have saved the changes, you'll need to update the condition to complete. As you can see, the status is now a green complete. If you need further information or want to view the documents up closer, you can just hover over the documents on the left. This magnifies them for you, allowing you to see clearly what they are. Again, make sure all conditions have been fulfilled and the tick boxes have been completed. Add any notes and click Save Changes. and update the condition to complete. Alternatively, you can select Browse within the grey box to select files from your computer. Again, once these documents are uploaded, you can then drag and drop them onto their relevant condition. Ensure all conditions have been met. You'll notice if this box is not ticked, you're unable to save changes, it is in red, so make sure all these conditions have been matched and click save. Again, we update the condition to complete. Lastly, you can drag and drop directly onto the conditions themselves from your computer.
To apply for an exception for a particular document, select Update Condition and then Exception from the drop-down box. Select a reason. and enter comments for the lender. As you can see, this is now being completed with the yellow exception. To remove any of the supporting documents you have uploaded, simply click on the X found within the condition. This then updates the condition back to incomplete. Although you can upload supporting documents at any time and apply online, you may only submit them to the lender once you have submitted the application. This is because the lender first needs to check the data within the application and provide you with the bank reference number. As soon as you submit the application, you should receive confirmation, therefore allowing you to submit supporting documents straight away. To do so, click on Submit Documents in the top right hand corner of the Support Docs page. This will first check to see if you have submitted the application and if all conditions have been satisfied. If so, you will be able to submit your documents to the lender. The second variation of supporting documents is the newer of the two variations, but is only used by a small handful of large lenders. To begin, click on Attach next to any of the relevant headings. You can then either drag and drop into this box, or click Upload Files, and upload numerous files from your computer at once. You will need to wait for the boxes in the corner to change to successfully uploaded. Whatever you upload will be automatically attached to the condition that you selected. To deselect those not required, hover over the document and click Select. The reason we do it this way is that we only have to upload all the relevant documents once, but then we can choose which documents to attach to the relevant conditions. Click Attach One File once you have selected the relevant document. You can see this has now updated the color to orange. The reason why this is orange and not green is because we get to self-verify this document. This allows you to expedite the process and make it easier for the lender. Orange means it's not mandatory. If it is ever marked red with a cross here, those will need to be self-verified before you can submit the documents to the lender. Grey means that you have yet to upload a document for that particular condition. Clicking on self-verify will open a new window which will allow you to select the page or pages relevant to the condition. The document requirements will be stated for you on the right. Please ensure the documents meet these requirements before submitting to the lender. You have the option to add any notes, but once you have selected the relevant pages, click self-verify in the bottom right corner. This confirms that the attached documents meet the document requirements on screen. As you can see, this is now updated to green. It has been verified. In the previous step, we uploaded numerous files at one go. Therefore, when you move down to the next one and you click attach, the files are available for you. Click on select and attach file. That document has now been attached to the customer ID check condition. 
If you'd like further information about acceptable documents for each condition, just click on any of the headings and the options will be provided for you below. This is not to say you need to upload every single one of these documents. It just shows you a combination of documents you can attach to make up the condition that is required. Similar to the previous variation, if you'd like to request an exception, you just need to select exception next to the relevant condition, select a reason, and provide some notes to the lender. Again, as previously mentioned with the last variation, you may only send supporting documents to the lender once the application has been submitted. Once you have done so, click on Send Checklist to Lender in the top right hand corner. This will check that the application has been submitted and that all conditions have been met for the supporting documents. You will then have the option to submit to lender. This finalises supporting documents and sends them to the lender. For more information on uploading supporting docs, please consult the supporting docs guide found in the training folder under library in Podium. Thank you for watching how to upload supporting documents in Apply Online. For further content, please subscribe to our Podium Knowledge YouTube channel.